What is up guys and welcome back to the channel here. We are at Wagler Motorsports Park in Lyons, Indiana today. Gonna do a little test and tune with this brand new uh, to us third gen Camaro we've got here. It is almost noon. So things are supposed to start at noon. I think everybody's up in driver's meeting right now. So I've just got the tires set. We got this car pushed out of the trailer and got a little uh, slickness put on it, wiped the car down, and I'm um, getting ready to go out and make some test passes in this new car. on this car so we're just trying to get the bearing see if the thing would stop see if it'd go up on a brake and those kind of things um, did a good burnout um, staged the car of course we red lit but um, anyway I filmed it with my phone just because I don't want to lug the camera up there when I'm trying to figure this thing out I don't know what it's gonna do so I don't I don't want to be at a point where I'm gonna try to have to yank the hood off this car and be lugging this camera around so I kind of just left it in the trailer uh, filming these little parts on the camera filming the car on my phone but uh, we went down through there and the car wouldn't shift. So it's got a grid um, and then the, the dash is a race pack. It's hooked up with an MSD grid, but then it's also got a uh, delay box in it because these people used to run super gas in this car. And so we're literally at this point to where we're pulling, they had it on a throttle stop and all kinds of stuff. So we're pulling all these old settings out of this car to try to get this thing to shift and do our heads up, no prep, street race stuff. So uh, kind of interesting to do this, but we had somebody help us out. Um, of course, we forgot the laptop at home. So we've got somebody bringing the laptop with us now so we can mess with the grid. And then at this point, but we've also got everything set up here on the delay box where I think it's gonna shift two seconds out. So we're getting ready to go back to the, up there and make another test hit and see what we're gonna do. guys we are back from the track um, after that second pass we left so we ramped our uh, launch RPM up um, from 36 to 4200 RPM um, it launched better as you can see in the video um, it didn't go super straight it left all right and then um, about halfway down the track when it clicked into high gear the track got a little uh, slick down there and it started coming around both directions so uh, we got what we needed, we got the car to shift. Um, first time out, we made sure the thing stopped, we made sure it shifted, we made sure it went up on the brake, and it did everything that it needed to do. So um, for basically a test and tune, I think it cost us $10 to go down there and test for the day, got two passes in, um, kind of got that out of the way. So from now on, we can just kind of go from here, start trying to throw a little more timing at it, a um, little more launch RPM, because it acts like it wants some. And um, then at that point, we can start seeing about putting a little uh, nitrous to it. So we're talking about putting a uh, just a plate on a button. That way we do a lot of uh, no prep and like some of the airport races and things like that. So I think something like that on a button and it's got a grid so we can throw that in with the grid and um, kind of do it on a progressive. And, uh, yeah, I think this is a really solid car, um, one of the better ones um, that he's got. So, uh, yeah, I think um, it's going to be a very good uh, season for us this year. Um, didn't get much racing done in 2020, so we are hoping that 2021 is going to be the way to go. So, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and um, drop us a comment. Um, please, please give us a subscribe button if you haven't done that already. So um, this year I'm gonna try to take the camera as much as I can when we go racing. So uh, I, I filmed the 
the stuff on the track of my phone and um, I just didn't really want to be lugging around the camera in case something happened and I had to pull the hood off the car or do something. We just didn't really know what's going to happen so the next time hopefully we can get you some better video, some better quality and uh, a little more camera time with everyone around us and things that we're doing. So thanks for tagging along. I'm glad you guys are following along and we will catch you on the next one.